Hey guys, Sim here from One Beer Gaming. Have you ever wanted to have a green screen effect like the one behind me? Yeah, I bet you have. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up your very own green screen effect in your front room or anywhere that you have limited amounts of space. So let's get into it. To start with, I suggest you purchase a green screen. You may make your own with fabric and to build your own stand, but I found this to be more expensive, more time consuming and less effective. Your second consideration should be the camera. For a few months I was using a standard digital camera and it just didn't look very good. At the moment I'm using a 1080p 60 frame a second camera and you can see the difference. The last thing to consider is lighting. Normal house lights will not cut it, so you need to buy some lights and some lighting stands. Specifically what you'll require will depend on your basic setup, and I'll talk more about lighting at the end of this video. First, you want to choose your location. Set up the stands and put the green screen on the rod. Put the rod on the stands and tighten with the wing nut provided. Now extend the stands up to their full height. Use A-clamps to stretch the material taut in a horizontal direction. These can be picked up from any hardware store. Now we can still see wrinkles in our green screen. So take a spray bottle and moisten it. The weight of the water will iron out any remaining wrinkles. You can leave it to dry, but if time is an issue, you can use a hairdryer to dry faster. Good lighting can make or break your green screen setup. In general, what you want to try and do, you want to try and light yourself completely separately. This means that if you're lighting the green screen behind and you're standing in front, you should be completely out of that light. Now, this room is only about three meters long from where you are to where I am. So we have to get a little bit creative. This is the hardest part about setting up a green screen. It may vary for you, but here's the basics of my setup. I am the pink square here. The camera is this red triangle here. And the green screen is this green line here. The yellow shapes represent the lights. This light is the most important. This is what I call the contrast light. It makes the green screen behind me much, much brighter and thus makes me stand out from the background. All other lights then must be attempting to make this much brightness. This light and this light are directional lights. They provide diffuse light only in the direction facing away from the triangle's point. Their job is to try and evenly light the green screen without lighting me. As I noted before, the other lights must match the hotspot created by the contrast light. Therefore, in my setup, these lights have bigger bulbs in them. This light serves only to light me. It is set up at eye level so as not to cast large shadows. 